greening up the BBC's charts at this very moment. And if you listen to Paul Bartlett's programme tomorrow afternoon on Radio 1, 275, 285 at about 12.45, he'll be going through the new charts and you'll be able to discover where the ruts Babylon Burning has moved up to. At least I hope it's moved up. And uh, I shall also, on tomorrow night's programme, speaking of Paul Bartlett, play you the Valve's new single because uh, Paul did it today but talked over about the first uh, 45 seconds or so of it and you might be interested in hearing how that first 45 seconds goes. Bitch, bitch, bitch. These are the yachts and uh, those of you who are sitting up and taking notice the first time the mods came around may remember something called March of the Mods. This isn't it, but it is March of the Moderates. myself becoming less and less of one, I must admit. Perhaps this is a sign of the times. Those are the yachts, and that's March of the Moderates. And here's a letter from Cherry Red Records, Kingston Road, London, SW19. Dear John, enclosed a copy of the new single by Destroy All Monsters. Single is out at the end of June. The band are coming over in September. And apparently Niagara can't wait to meet you. She's really into balding men. Shouldn't that be the other way around? This is the single, anyway. Destroy All Monsters and Meet the Creeper. <laughs> Hmm. 
and that's one that's recorded at Space Ward in Cambridge, The Gangsters, and that's from their debut LP, the first LP to be issued by the Stortbeat label. That's Don't Rely On Me, rather good that, I thought, too. Here's another one from the Yachts in a second. <laughs> Have to be spoken. She hears you and she clearly knows you're there, but I say token. A good excuse to mask my plan, exit departure. She takes an empty pride and that's all that you've been after. In a second, she's turned around, letting her go. See her no more. Those are the yachts. It's called in a second. And to return to that event over the weekend, the status quo do. I suppose you could call it a status quo do, although in fact it was a sort of day-long festival in Dublin. A lot of good music to be heard. One of the nicest atmospheres at a festival that I can remember for a very long time indeed. And the thing started off with a, a trio from Dublin called the Bogey Band, as far as I can tell, who uh, did Madison Blues to advantage and a lot of songs of their own, which are good. I don't think the band have made any records. If they had, I'd certainly play you one of them. Uh, they were followed by Christy Moore, uh, whose stuff wasn't enormously well received by the audience, who wanted something that they could jump about to a little more, I think, but uh, a good little band, particularly a couple of very good guitarists there. And the undertones, as I mentioned earlier, who are quite superb, but then again, I'm a little prejudiced. Even if they'd been terrible, I'd have told you they were superb, but they weren't terrible, they were superb. <laughs> then uh, Dave Edmonds and uh, Rock Pyle, who seemed to, to go through it in rather a perfunctory manner, I must admit, because they were off to America the following day, and they didn't seem to be enormously interested in what they were doing, but uh, played very competently, as they often do. But again, the crowd didn't exactly warm to them. They were followed by... I don't know why I'm telling you all of this, really, just in case you're interested. They were followed by Judas Priest, and uh, the lead singer had to come on because of his recent accident... Uh, on a motorbike which was piloted by somebody else so a sort of ultra macho pillion passenger <laughs> didn't look exactly right clenched fist salutes notwithstanding but they put on a good show and then of course Quo were Quo and uh, the thing I like best about them I think other than the fact that they've written a lot of good tunes which people very seldom acknowledge uh, was the fact that they don't uh, patronise their audiences or indeed when they're not in front of them say anything unpleasant about them and you'd be amazed about the number of bands who uh, 
say nice things about their audience in print and then think very little of them uh, when they speak to you personally on the matter. I mention all of this because the Flaming Groovies were supposed to be there at one stage and weren't. This is from their LP, Jumping in the Night. It's also a single and it's a Dylan song. The Gay Lads, who spell lads with two Ds for some whimsical reason of their own from the album Understanding on United Artists, that's maybe for long. Well, it's more on ballistic, actually, but that's sort of connected with United Artists. Another from the yacht? Why not? Then and now. Of course, it's around this stage of the programme that I should do something like, say, and the yachts are on lead guitar. There's uh, Eugene Valparaiso, but I've lost the list. And anyway, you probably know already. And if you don't know already, then chances are you're not enormously interested. I should also give you a list of all of the band's gigs as well. And this hasn't turned up either, so I can't do that. But if uh, the yachts are listening and they let me know what their gigs are tomorrow, then I shall sing them out on tomorrow night's programme. That was then and now. Those were the yachts and these are the tools.
the other hand, I'm prepared to get down on my knees if you will. Those are the Runaways from the forthcoming LP on Cherry Red Records, and that was my buddy and me. This silly, silly postcard, postcard thing thing seems to be catching on because the yachts have done Love You, Love You. days the yachts are going to have a hit single you know because they've got some good tunes and that's one of them it's called love you love you and this is nils lofgren starts quietly <clears throat> 